Hi guys, GF7 and welcome to another review video. Today we have the 86, the new 86, second in form, Radamel Falcao. I'm gonna, I've put a markman card on Radamel Falcao. I'm doing the Stryker. is probably the best thing to do because how can you really review a centre back? He's not really gonna get seen too much. I may do a midfielder. I don't want to do the two expensive ones because I don't know if I want to use the players and then it'll be a lot of coins wasted each time. I might do some of the centre mids. Leave a comment in the down below if I mean if you want me to do some midfielders but defenders do seem pointless and goalkeepers as well because yes I put him in this little team I want to try out the informed Val Bryan and that I got on loan so why not Lucas in there as well you got Coziello, Taliso, Gonalons, um, Matthew and Titi, Kazawa, Kochia and Oblak so a decent little team to put around him and hopefully he'll be he'll play well like that. Anyways, let's get in and see his base stats. So guys, you can see he's got 75 pace, 87 tune, 74 pass, and 86 dribbling, 70, 43 defending, 81 physical. I've put the marksman card on so he can increase his shooting, because obviously that shooting it looks incredible already, but that, if that goes higher than the 87. And also the dribbling, that is 86, that looks very high. Just like Fernando Torres, his dribbling looks very high. But I mean, that's an, that seems to be an older stat. They haven't quite got it as much as they used to in real life. I mean, they used to have these incredible things, both of them in their prime from Atletico Madrid. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, his stats look very good. A7, 2 and A6 driven are the two best things. The A1 physical obviously kicks in as well. He's a bit like Torres in the card, just a tiny bit slower. But anyway guys, this is in-game stats with the Markstrom card. Here are in-game stats. Um, Footwiz I'm using again. Footwiz is um, my favourite site to use for these sort of things. But you see, with his Markstrom card, he's 83 aggression. That's quite high aggression, so watch out on your challenges. But 99 attack position, and that's an incredible stat that you want for a striker because his attack position is one of the main things that a striker can uphold for you. Um, 78 vision, so his passing is obviously not that bad. 79 acceleration can be a downer, I mean 79 acceleration is low, but I mean if you use him in the right way, in the right manner, he's not going to do too much. But in the physical, you can see that he's got 98 agility, 99 jump, and 95 reaction, which is absolutely incredible, really. I didn't think he'd be that high still, but because he's an in form, he's gone up quite a lot back to an 86 compared to his 90 that he used to have base card, but he is still up there again. Um, and his skill stats, 95 curve, so... You want to be doing the finesses, etc, etc. Um, finishing, 93. Free kick, 82. Dribbling, 86. 99 head and accuracy. 92 long shots, 96 penalties. He's a very good old-fashioned striker, as you'd say. So he's good at goal scoring. He's good at jumping in the air. He's good at scoring headers. He's a perfect man. 99 volleys as well. So across into the box, and he'll be volleying them into the net. And, so, and he's also got... His traits are, in fact, here, yeah, let me just have a check. Uh, finesse shot, power header, and tire force. So exactly what I was saying. His traits are exactly that. 5 foot 10 inches, so he'll get up in the air, even though he is a bit smaller. And he's got high attack and work rate, so definitely not too bad. And he's on everyone's favourite right foot. So he looks very, very good. Now let's see how he actually does in the game of FIFA. We're into the highlights, and I've got to say they were a bit disappointing from Random Alpha Alcal. I'd expect that I wanted his 84 car when it first came out, and I wanted to play with this car when it came out. But Random Alpha Alcal is more disappointing than I think. Than he is um, what I really hoped. He's just not what I hoped. You see, the last two videos there were both positive in the pros. He was not. Of course, there were seven in both of them, but there's only six this time because I, I just couldn't give him another positive, and so I left it at 3-3. Three, three. First up we have the short passing, he was very good at the short passing, he would spin, turn, and you see quite a few clips of him playing and I think he even gets an assist. He does get some good short passing in and it is very good from Ramal Falcam. His strength's obviously something that's very, very good. His strength in this game is incredible, his shielding's obviously very good. He'll outstrength the defenders, but there's one thing that lets him down and that is the pace. I didn't put pace on the cons because that's just an obvious pay, uh, obvious, obvious con. But yeah. And dribbling next up. Dribbling's probably a surprising one for a lot of you. Dribbling, he goes past his man. I'm not saying close dribbling. He's not very good at close dribbling, but he's very good at going weaving in and out. And his dribbling is a bit. Control on the ball is there. I mean, 
His agility is not there as such, but his controlling the ball and going past someone just by touching it is there. Definitely not saying the agility is there though, because it definitely isn't. And so guys, now going on to the cons, attack positioning. That is what you want from the striker, and his stat for that was incredible. Um, his He had really high attack positioning, and what I would have wanted is for him to be really good, but he just wasn't in the positions after I get there. A lot of the time he'd get in, but it just his position would not be there, he'd be holding back at the edge of the box. Obviously I always set these up so they should be right, he should always be in the box for crosses because he's got good header run, but one thing that he just wasn't, he wasn't in the box even then. Could be do his work rate. The next up we have is finishing. His finishing could be down to David De Gea and my lack of brilliance on the game. I mean, his finishing, David De Gea made some good stops as you saw in the highlights. Um, he did. He didn't score. I'm afraid. I played about four games. I couldn't score with Radam Alfalcao. It's bad for me, but I scored quite a few goals, and you saw from this highlight that I should have probably scored more goals. And then finally, agility. Agility's a con, like I did say earlier. His dribbling is decent, but his agility is the thing that lets him down. Just like with Fernando Torres, it's going to be when the place player isn't that quick. Agility is going to be the thing that does cost you as a player. Anyway, guys, there is pros and cons. Um, yeah, they're a bit iffy. I mean, I tried to figure out some good pros and cons, but I think he did have more cons. I don't really like him man, because of his lack of pace. It does make it even one-sided more towards disliking Radamel Falcao. Because you'd expect any striker to be good when they're 86 rated, but it's just not the case. It's just not the case. And 17,000, would I say buy him? Probably not. I mean, he's quite cheap, yes. Like, I'd rather get a Lacazette. I don't know how much Lacazette is nowadays, but I'd rather get someone like him. If you are going to go for the league, I'd, I'd stay away from him. Maybe a 5 out of 10 I'll give him, so the lowest so far. Anyways, I've been GSO, and if you did enjoy, please leave a like rating, please subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye.